Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will learn about data loading in Power BI. So this is a complete module. So here we will be dealing with different types of or different ways of loading data onto the Power BI. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top-tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find the data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. Now, Power BI can import data in three different modes. The first one is import mode, where you can just directly connect to the source and import the data in batch mode. And another mode is the direct query mode where the data, the real-time data is already connected to the Power BI dashboard. And by just refreshing the Power BI or the data source, you can get the real-time insights on the data. And the third one is the mix and match of both import and direct query mode. You can also call it as a dual mode or also as a composite mode. So if you want to know a little bit more detail in these three modes you can just let us know in the comment section below and we will have a complete tutorial covered for that right now we will get started with the types of data importing using power bi so you can import data in different ways it may be from files it may be from an excel document it may be from a website it may be from sql or any other database or it can also maybe from uh, cloud etc right so we will be dealing with all of those here and uh, let's get started so here we are on my power bi window now there can be instances where you might have to load data from one or more sources and you might have to club that data together now let's say i have uh, continuous data from four to five different years and we have a separate workbook or excel workbook for different years right and in that situation let's say you have a requirement where you have to completely segregate all those four or five years of data into one single file and import all that into your power bi and create your insights based on year on year performance or month on month performance right so in a few situations you might have your data in an excel source and another set of data in maybe your database maybe in a website or maybe in a different source correct so in those situations you might have to collect all your data dump it into power bi and use data transformation and data modeling in power bi and create one clean data set for you to perform your analysis and extract some valuable insights so that's a different tutorial for a different day but to help you with the fundamentals of data transformation and data modeling we already have in detail data transformation and data modeling tutorials on power bi but if you want that all to be segregated into one single tutorial you can let us know in the comment section below and we will have that done as well now let's proceed with our data loading into power bi the first type we will go with importing data from file right so you can just go to the get data option over here and you already have a lot of varieties but in case if you are not getting the one you're looking for you can just click on more and you will have a set of options readily available on your screen like this one now here you can see 
some more options. So here I have a file option over here. You can just click on file or a folder over here. And now it will directly navigate you to the file system of your computer. Just double click on that. And here you will have the browse option. Just click on browse. And remember where you have your file. So I have it in my downloads. And here I have uh, Excel and just press ok and now your data has been successfully loaded onto your power bi window now here you can just you can just click on load to load data or in case you find it so here we have a four different years just as we discussed in the beginning the data of sales from the last four years 2020 2021 2022 and 2023 so in such situations you can just click on transform data and transform your data and model your data into one single excel workbook and start your analysis so if you just click on load you can directly load the data onto your power bi window and this is one way of doing it and uh, see your data yes there you go the data has got successfully loaded you can just directly select the data that you want that you are working with and you can have it here and now let's proceed with the second way of loading data so i'll load, you know i'll name this file as uh, i need this workbook as file load data from file right and now let's create a new page or new uh, workbook where we will load data from an excel file right so here you can just click on excel workbook option directly over here or you can also go with the same get data option we'll go with excel workbook you can see it has directly redirected me to the place where i have my excel files so you can just click on excel data that we're working on and press open and shortly you can see the excel files getting loaded over here and now you can have the option of choosing what table you want to load right there are possibilities where one excel workbook might have multiple sheets but for now our excel data has only one sheet which is named as data you can just click on it and have a brilliant preview of your data you can check for any of the errors let me remind you if in case if you have some data cleaning to be done on your data power bi will automatically open power query window for you where you can run all your data cleaning operations and each and every step you are investing or you are making while creating the data cleaning process or while you're going through the data cleaning process and you can manual you can eliminate the manual task and you can save all the steps and you can automate your data cleaning process and power bi will automate that process and clean every single cell of your data set and your data will be ready for extracting insights now this is another way of uh, you know importing or loading data into a power bi window from excel files you can just directly load or in case if you want to transform you can just click on transform data and the power bi window will get redirected to a power query window where you can you know clean your data and load it so this is the second way of doing or loading your data is a problem you can just view and clear those errors manually that's one way of doing it and i'll just close it for now and let's focus on loading data from a different source so now we have so far loaded data from a file loaded data from an excel file now another way is load data from a website so before we move ahead let's have a look on the website that we are selecting for today so uh, we are selecting the world population website you can see this particular website is running real time so it's giving us the calculations in real time right so you can also load the real time streaming data onto power bi so all you have to do is just select the or you know copy the url over here is present right here and uh, just go back to power bi window and here you have the options so take the option of web and now it will ask for the url you can just you paste the url and just you know select the basic or if you have some advanced settings you can also have the advanced parameters mentioned for power bi so i'll go with the basic ones here 
and if you in case if you want to also explore the advanced settings please do let us know so that we can create an exclusive tutorial for loading the data from website using advanced settings so it's a longer tutorial so do, do let us know so that we can create an exclusive tutorial for that now just press ok and your data should be loaded you can just connect now a preview of the data will be loaded onto your screen you can just select the table that you want right so we have multiple if we just go back to the website so you have multiple tables here so the first table it will recognize this particular part of data as a table and apart from that here it has top 20 largest countries by population like as a table and uh, any other tabular data present on the website see this one it will also be considered as a table so you can select any one of the tables you want and load that data on to cover bi now let's select anyone i think you might have a preview here it's still loading so there you go so we have multiple tables here so you can just select the table and have a preview and see if that's the table that you wanted to import and if you find the table that you're looking for you can just click on the load or transform data in case if you want to do any data cleaning you can just click the option of data transform and do that and if you are happy with the data that you have on your preview then you can just select the option of load the data so i think this is the table i'm looking for you can just click on load data and that will be directly loaded onto your public BI platform and it will be ready for your analysis and extraction of insights might take a little while but that's okay there was some error it was not found let's discard and try to get that once again now we have the preview of the data now let's directly load it there you go there we have our table number 12 directly loaded so here you can see correct this is how you can load data from a website and now let's explore another one where we can load data from either a cloud or a database correct now here we as load data from database so there are multiple databases available you can load data from a sql server you can load data from a mysql workbench you can load data from php my admin which is for postgres sql you can load the data from microsoft sql server and dataverse and are also from the cloud sources all you have to do is just add the server id and any credentials like the username password etc and the data will be loaded now let's try to load data from a mysql workbench or mysql database so you can just click on more and here you can type mysql database there you go and just connect if you are connecting uh, you know uh, for the first time it will ask for the server id and database so we will go with the local host over here so the address for local host is 127.0.0. okay let's quickly check our port number from the mysql workbench so my port number is 3308 and 3306 let's work with 3308 one three three zero eight don't forget the double colon over here this one it's very important and uh, if we just dive deep into this particular database we have uh, different databases slp system well if we just click on slp we have so many tables which is so let's go with slp i type an slp and press on ok so it might also ask for uh, user id and password so uh, my user id and password are root and uh, just power bi at the rate one to three so everyone could have their own uh, passwords correct so you might have a username dedicated username and dedicated uh, password just use that so i've already logged in here so I, it just gave me direct approval to navigator in case if you're using this for the first time 
you will just have a um, username and password request on your screen. You can just type it down and press OK. So here we have a uh, book collection table and a few other things, book owner, order, employee details, employee register. So I'll just go with employee details. This is the one. Just load the transform data. If you are happy with the data preview you have, just load the direct data directly. And um, yeah, it should be loaded shortly. There you go. So simply learn employee details. This is just a simple small data set that I have personally created and you can load it onto the Power BI and start your analysis. So um, in case if you're working with cloud, the same, you just have to enter the details from cloud and that's how you can do it. And in case if you're looking for an exclusive tutorial on how to load data from cloud to Power BI, please do let us know and we'll have it done for you. And with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to load data from different sources to Power BI. So far, we have looked for how to load data from different files, how to load data from an Excel document, how to load data from a database or cloud, how to load data from a website, and if there is anything that you are exclusively looking for, please do let us know in the comment section below, and we will have it answered for you. And uh, and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you are looking for the resources like PPD and the data sets that we used in the session, please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Sim. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.